Hey, welcome back. For the cleaning tip of the day, I'm going to step way back for you so I'm not all wobbly. Um, so I was on Pinterest and I saw that you can do your baseboards with a bounce sheet. And I thought I'd give it a try. I'm not a big baseboard cleaner, but I do notice that they get dusty sometimes. I, I mean, when I do occasionally bring out the vacuum, which is very rare because I use my Roomba, um, I will like, you know, use the brush thing and do all the baseboards. I'm not scrubbing it with soap and water in a bucket. That just seems crazy to me, so I thought that I'd give this a try. Now what they suggested doing was using your Swiffer and putting um, a bounce sheet on it. And why you use a bounce sheet is because it kind of like stops the clinks, the dust sort of doesn't stick to your baseboards. Have you ever noticed like dust seems to like want to pool on the top of your baseboards? So. I thought I'd give it a try, but I found that the Swiffer was kind of like awkward or whatever. So what I did instead was just stuck a styrofoam ball on the end and wrapped a couple with an elastic. Look how dirty that is. Mm. And also, um, I used to always do my blinds with um, bounce sheets because again, it sort of repels the dust with the static, like it, you know what I mean, it gets rid of the static, so it sort of repels the dust. So hopefully the same thing works with my baseboards. I found this really easy to maneuver. I just stuck it on the end of a broom pole and I was like going around and just like give it a quick wipe. Didn't take a lot of time. I also did it on top of my doors and my windowsills, which I never do. So it was really, really quick. And then I decided to do the corners with the cobwebs because I have heard that bounce sheets, whatever it was that makes them like this or the smell or whatever repels bugs. So I thought maybe it'll stop those little Search from making cobwebs in my corners. We're like spider haven here. I have so many spiders. Little bouncy baby spiders, tons of spiders. I think it's because we live on the water. Our backyard looks like a spider nest all the time, no matter how many times. So anyways, I'll let it keep you posted if this sort of helps keep down the spider webs. But it was also a really easy way. Like I did my top of my curtain rods and it was a really easy way to get into the corners to get the cobwebs and hopefully it kind of so anyways, that's a quick tip. Using bounce sheets to dust baseboards, top of your door jams, all those places. Oh, I see dust on my picture frame right there. <laughs> and I got it, yeah. So anyways, I used a ball. You can use anything, a rag with a with a one on top. If you find that using a Swiffer is too complicated, just put a bounce sheet on top. I used a silly band because I didn't have an elastic. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I'll give you a quick um, pregnancy update. I'll try to tilt it down so you can see that not my boobs, though those are my boobs. <laughs> uh, here's my belly. It's Jai friggin' Normous. Um, I am 30 weeks, I think. Maybe 29. I have I have 11 weeks to go. Uh, the 25th is my date that they're slicing dicing me to get this beast out. You know what? I I'm I'm all like a nervous wreck lately because I don't feel him anymore. He used to kick me and I'd be like, oh, baby kicking me all night. And now he never kicks me anymore. So that makes me a little nervous. I have, um, sometimes I feel him, so I know he's still moving, but not all the time. And I know it's because he's running out of room and I know it's third trimester. I'm getting, I'm getting summoned by my little tyke. So I've got to go. Sorry, she's down there. They're, they're playing blocks in the, in the room right there and she's going, <laughs> so, ah, that's my call. I gotta go. Anyways, uh, bounce sheets, that's your tip of the day. We'll see you next time.